Hey guys, this is just a little filler while I prepare some more videos. One of the mainstays of this bedroom has always been a computer monitor. Of course, I've always had at least a couple of desktop computers at any point in time, and so of course I need a desktop computer monitor in order to use them. I've had quite a few monitors over the years. Um, my first monitor was an AOC Spectrum 5E, which was an excellent monitor. I forget how that thing broke. I think it just simply stopped working. Uh, then after that, I had a Compaq V570 monitor, which was also a nice monitor. That thing came to a close when the uh, core developed some bad uh, connections and so you couldn't get a clear picture on it anymore. It would often be missing the green and blue components of the signal. Then uh, for a short while I had an IBM ThinkVision. That was a fantastic monitor, a very nice monitor. Unfortunately I accidentally destroyed it by feeding it too high of a refresh rate. I still don't get why CRT monitors don't have some sort of protection against that, but anyway, uh, that's what happened to that monitor, which was unfortunate. And then after that, for the past quite a few years, it's been this monitor, my ViewSonic G771, made in 1996. This has always been a very nice monitor. I know V Westlife uh, owns a similar one under the Optimus name. And uh, this monitor, really, I've always liked it. It just worked well. I mean, there's nothing more you can really ask for. And of course, another nice feature of it was that the cord, the uh, signal cord, was detachable. You can see there's the uh, connector right there. It had a detachable cord. And so that cord uh, comes in handy. I have the cord right here comes in handy for uh, if I want to plug say one of my laptops into the TV out in the living room. Our TV, it's an HD TV, has a VGA connector on it and so this cord comes in handy for that. So uh, all in all it's been a very nice monitor. I paid ten dollars for it when I got it gosh I guess three four years ago now. Unfortunately the life of this monitor has pretty much come to a termination uh, the problem is, is that the VGA connector on it, uh, like the Compaq V570 before it, uh, has developed a bad connection, and oftentimes the whole picture just goes out, and I have to reach behind it and wiggle the cord, you know, for a long time before I can get a stable signal. And uh, I've checked the cable; it's not the cable. The cable's absolutely fine. Um, it's actually not even the original cable; it's a Belkin cable, which is pretty nice. But uh, yeah, the VGA connector has pretty much gone bad, and it's pretty much curtains for this monitor, which is unfortunate. So next Wednesday, uh, this thing will be going out to the garbage, which is too bad. It has served me well. This thing is indeed 17 years old now, so uh, it's done its duty, and uh, that's all I can say. So, I've been needing a computer monitor. Of course, uh, the most use that a computer monitor gets from me is the Compaq Desk Pro EN. And I need it because the Desk Pro takes the video from this camcorder via Firewire so I can put it on my laptop to edit it. So, I was in need of another monitor. Well, I went to the thrift store today and among some other scores that I'll be making videos of in the near future, I scored another computer monitor. Now they had four there to choose from. And when I saw one of them, I said, that's the one. That's the one I want to get. So I'll show it to you right now. It's a Sony Trinitron. It's a Sony Trinitron Multiscan 210GS model CPD210GS. And uh, it was made in 1999. I bought this for $6 and it works absolutely perfect. And uh, the other monitors there, there were four in total. Uh, there was this one, there was an LG monitor, there was a Samsung monitor, and there was some crappy silver Chinese thing whose name I don't remember. And uh, I saw this one and I knew this one was the one to get. Uh, the woman at the thrift store, uh, I, I had asked her how much she wanted for one of the computer monitors. And uh, she gave me some advice. She pointed at the LG monitor and she said the guy who brought this in said he tested it and made sure it worked. And of course it's the newest of all the monitors. So your best pet's probably this one. So I'm like, yeah, 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 okay. But I think I'll get this one. 
and uh, both mom and the lady at the thrift store were kind of confused. They were like, well, why don't you get the one that you know works? And I said, I know what I'm doing. I want the Sony Trinitron. And uh, so I did, and it turns out this monitor works fine anyway. Um, this thing was filthy when I got it. I've cleaned it up. It's got what looks like ink from a ballpoint pen or something. I don't know. But uh, it's got quite a bit of cosmetic wear on it. Um, there's what looks like some scratches on the display, although maybe they'll come out. Now I've got a bunch of finger grease on it. Oh, now I got a whole lot more grease. I guess I'll just stop touching it now. But, uh, yeah, it's got some cosmetic wear, but otherwise it's absolutely perfect. I could care less about cosmetic wear. And, uh, it's excellent. Now, some of you, uh, probably have no doubt why I got the Sony Trinitron, even though it wasn't guaranteed to work. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Sony's Trinitron CRT displays are the absolute best on the entire planet. That might be hearsay coming from me, but I have no doubt in my mind that it's true. The Trinitron is the way to go with CRT displays. First of all, uh, typical Sony, the reliability is just top notch. And also, Trinitron displays use a different technology than other CRT displays. I won't explain it to you, but you can look it up on Wikipedia. Trinitron displays use what's called Aperture Grill CRT technology. Whereas other CRT displays, they use what's called uh, shadow mask display technology. But uh, yes, Trinitrons, their picture quality is absolutely so superior to the other shadow mask displays. And uh, that's why I wanted this monitor. And uh, I've used this monitor, and this monitor is just like all the other Trinitrons I've seen. The picture is absolutely crisp, the colors are very, very bright, and it, this thing has an excellent picture and I don't have to reach my hand back behind it anymore to wiggle a cord. It's got this sticker on here, Irving Oil Company, crude unit number four, March 31st, 2000, Passiter Refinery. Anyway, that'll be coming off, but I thought I'd just show that just because uh, it's a little bit historical, being from 2000. Ah, uh, came off very nice, thank you. And now we can see the Trinitron logo there. Uh, some of you know I have an old Trinitron TV from the 1970s. Same thing, it's got the best and brightest picture quality I've ever seen on a CRT television. But uh, anyway, we'll turn this on now. The only thing I don't like about this monitor, it's very loud when it degausses, which you'll hear. Mm. But that's alright. Alright, we're on the screensaver, so let me get out of that. And it's still warming up, takes quite a few seconds to warm up. And uh, I'll be back in a second while I change the refresh rate to 60 hertz. Alright, it's all warmed up and the refresh rate is fixed. And uh, yeah, this monitor is just incredibly crisp. You can probably make out the, uh, the camcorder uh, making out the vertical scan lines there. But uh, very high quality image. Um, as a matter of fact, these probably rival some LCD monitors. But, uh, yes, there's not much more I can say. It's an excellent display, and really, when it comes to any CRT monitor or TV, I recommend Sony Trinitrons first thing. Um, unfortunately, the only thing is that if you go on eBay, Trinitron TVs and monitors usually sell for more than other monitors. Uh, now, some of you might be thinking, you know, Trent, it's 2013, for God's sake. Don't you want an LCD monitor now? And to that I say, hell no, I do not want an LCD monitor. And here's why. This monitor is going to be used with older computers. That being said, older computers, especially like the Turbo 486, I might be working in text mode, um, like DOS. Uh, L first of all, LCD monitors do absolutely horrible with text. Uh, they were not meant to display text, like in a BIOS or, or in DOS or whatever. So that's definitely a big reason. Another one is if I'm running, you know, like an old operating system that runs at like 640 by 480, LCD monitors can only optimally display the resolution they were designed to show. You know, if you have a 1024 by 768 LCD monitor and you put it into 640 by 480, it's gonna look like crap. And so that's another reason. CRT displays, uh, they do excellent in text mode, and they can display any resolution, and it looks great every time. And uh, this monitor is no exception. Um, another thing is, most LCD monitors in the world, 
um, the great majority, I'm sure, by now, are widescreen. And of course, with an older computer, I cannot use a widescreen monitor, or else it'll just be stretched out. And another thing is, CRT monitors are cheaper, and they are more reliable. So, there's a ton of reasons why I definitely prefer a CRT monitor. And the way I see it, there is no reason in the near future, or even the far future, for me to upgrade to an LCD monitor. So, for as long as I can, as long as they're readily and cheaply available, I will be sticking with CRTs. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Another interesting thing I might show you, you might be able to make it out. Going across horizontally in the center of the screen, a little thin line there. There's one there, a third of the way down, and then a third of the way there from the bottom, there's another one, which you should be able to see just barely right there. Trinitron monitors have these two lines going across the display that you can just barely see because they are support wires to help support the aperture grill, which uh, you'll read about if you search it on Wikipedia. So there you go. There's my new monitor, a Sony Multiscan model CPD210GS. I'm very happy to have this monitor. I think it's an excellent replacement for the old ViewSonic. Sorry to see this monitor have to go, but what breaks breaks, and I don't keep broken stuff. And uh, the picture is definitely superior to the old monitor. And uh, also, this is 15 inch, whereas the ViewSonic was 17 inch. So uh, that's nice because I prefer a smaller monitor. It's easier to pick up, and uh, I have some more space on this uh, desk now. So I will show the back of this monitor, and then that'll be it. Here's the back, great big Sony printed, which I think is pretty cool. While CPD-210GS Trinitron Color Computer Display. And down there's the manufacture date, April 1999. Right around my fifth birthday. Made in Thailand. Which I find very surprising. I would have fought Japan, but uh, who knows. But uh, there you go. It's also Energy Star compliant. Also, one more thing I forgot to mention. Interestingly, while Windows XP had the driver for the ViewSonic monitor, which was made in 1996, it didn't have the driver for this monitor, which was made in 1999. So that was kind of odd. It had the driver for the next model up, the 220GS, but it didn't have the 210GS driver. Uh, it doesn't really matter anyway. I imagine 99.9% .9 of people just use the plug-and-play monitor generic driver, but uh, I like to use the monitor-specific driver whenever possible. So I googled, and I found the driver on Sony's website. It was written for Windows 98, but uh, it works. And it's for the 210GS, 210EST, and the T9. So uh, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.